Have you ever found yourself in the challenging position of feeling overlooked, where your efforts and contributions seem to go unnoticed? Perhaps you've faced the frustration of consistently going above and beyond, only to receive minimal acknowledgement. It's a circumstance that resonates with many, creating a sense of disappointment and questioning one's value. Even when you strive to do what's right, prioritize the needs of others, and make yourself readily available, the acknowledgement you deserve might elude you. This predicament can be particularly disheartening when it involves relationships with those closest to you, family, friends, or a significant other. In these instances, the desire for recognition and acknowledgement becomes even more profound. Stoic philosophy, with its emphasis on understanding what lies within our control, posits that expecting recognition from others is often beyond our sphere of influence. Waiting for external validation, therefore, can evolve into a source of ongoing frustration. Yet, what if there were actionable steps to become a genuine priority in someone's life? What if there were strategies to ensure that your efforts are not only noticed, but also valued? In the following discussion, we will explore nine impactful steps that can empower you to consistently occupy a central position in the priorities of those around you, fostering an enduring sense of being recognized and valued in your relationships. As we embark on this exploration, let's uncover ways to enhance the dynamics of your interpersonal connections, leading to more fulfilling and meaningful interactions. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you to make sure you watch this video until the end, because every step is important. If you are passionate about personal growth, consider subscribing to the channel and activating the notification bell. Let's commence our quest for a wiser and more fulfilling life together. Let's go. Step 1. Create the fear of losing you. Delving into the psychology of human emotions, one of the most potent and masterful techniques to ascend the ladder of someone's priorities is to ingeniously create the fear of losing you. Picture it as a subtle psychological tapestry woven with threads of intrigue and mystery. You see, people are peculiar creatures, often propelled more fervently by the chilling spectre of loss than the warm embrace of potential gain. To delicately wield this power, embark on a journey of emotional distancing, where you cease the oversharing that once flowed effortlessly. Like a skilled artist, balance your time with others, creating a symphony of priorities. But here's the caveat. Tread cautiously on this path, for too much distance might inadvertently set off a cascade of unintended consequences. Allow them to feel the subtle shift in your priorities, like a gentle breeze carrying the fragrance of your newfound self-value, making them acutely aware of the treasure they might be on the brink of losing. Step 2. Avoid being always available. In the grand gallery of relationships, where every stroke of connection paints a unique masterpiece, it's crucial to understand the essence of quality over quantity. The second step in your pursuit of becoming an irreplaceable priority is to gracefully avoid being perpetually available. Think of it not as a game of aloofness, but as a mindful curation of your time. Just as a rare gem becomes more precious when it's not readily accessible, so does your presence in their life. Embrace the philosophy that prioritizing yourself isn't an act of selfishness, but a declaration that your life extends beyond the confines of their world. It's not about donning the guise of playing hard to get. Rather, it's about orchestrating a harmonious balance that not only preserves your self-worth, but also makes them cherish the moments they get to share with you even more deeply. Step 3. Maintain some mystery. Human nature is inherently drawn to the enigmatic and intriguing. Cultivating an air of mystery can significantly work to your advantage. Instead of divulging every detail about yourself immediately, 
Offer subtle hints about your hobbies. Respond to questions with a touch of vagueness and keep aspects of your life slightly veiled. Over time, this air of mystery becomes a captivating element in their perception of you, contributing to their acknowledgement of your priority status in their life. As you navigate these nuanced strategies, remember that the goal is not manipulation, but rather a thoughtful approach to fostering a deeper appreciation for your presence in their life. Step four, allow them to invest in you. Allowing someone to invest in you becomes a nuanced move that propels you into the spotlight of their priorities. Picture it as a delicate dance where you gracefully invite them to contribute to the mosaic of your life. Let them invest their time, strategically decline certain plans and subtly convey the preciousness of your time. However, akin to the delicate balance in a finely tuned instrument, moderation is the melody that must be played. An excess of this strategy might inadvertently tilt the scales in the opposite direction. By orchestrating this dance of reciprocity, you are not just fostering a sense of connection, but also laying the foundation for a deep-seated investment that solidifies your position in the tapestry of their priorities. It's about creating a mutual exchange that echoes the harmonious rhythm of a well-coordinated symphony. Step five, prioritize your needs. In the grand tapestry of personal dynamics, prioritizing your needs, a crucial act that resonates with a symphony of self-care rather than the discord of selfishness. Picture it as an act of self-love, where you surround yourself with individuals who not only appreciate, but actively prioritize your presence. It's not about manipulating feelings, but about consciously curating an environment where you are acknowledged as a vital chord in the symphony of their lives. While you can't manipulate the emotions of others, you wield significant control over how you perceive and prioritize yourself. By ensuring that you stand tall as a priority in your narrative, you effortlessly exude an aura of confidence and self-worth, casting a magnetic allure that makes it more likely for others to not only recognize, but also prioritize your unique place in their hearts. Step six, don't make them the center of your life. Were you aware that individuals frequently develop an attraction towards that which remains elusive? It's a veritable truth. The greater the effort required to attain something, the stronger the yearning for it. Surely you've come across the age-old saying, the grass is always greener on the other side, encapsulating the human inclination to be entranced by the unattainable. This concept seamlessly extends to interpersonal connections. Hence, this principle underscores the importance of incorporating such sagacity into your interactions with others. It advocates for maintaining a certain level of detachment, subtly suggesting that one should bear in mind this truth. By doing so, you convey the notion that you aren't overly eager for their attention. With time, this strategy fosters an increased appreciation for your presence as they recognize the value you bring far beyond mere desperation for their regard. Step seven, stop initiating communication all the time. If you often find yourself taking the lead in reaching out to someone significant in your life, perhaps it's time to pull back a bit. It might appear counterintuitive because after all, don't you need to be the instigator to become a priority in their life? Contrary to that belief, the answer is a resounding no. When you're consistently the one kickstarting conversations, the other party tends to take your efforts for granted. They grow accustomed to your proactive approach, inadvertently diminishing your perceived importance. So, what's the alternative? Simply refrain from being the primary communicator and observe the outcome. If the other person genuinely values your connection, they will take the initiative to establish contact. Step eight, forge your own happiness. To become a central figure in someone's life, it's crucial to cultivate your own joy and not hinge it solely on them. 
While having a reliable source of happiness is desirable, relying entirely on someone else for contentment can breed disillusionment. Moreover, tethering our happiness to others means we are not authentically living our lives. Instead, we're adhering to their agenda and priorities, a path that often leads to resentment. To be a priority in someone's life, the key is to craft your own happiness. This not only ensures lasting joy for yourself, but also renders you more appealing to others. The self-assured and balanced demeanor resulting from this pursuit enhances your attractiveness, setting the stage for more meaningful connections. Step 9. Be willing to walk away. The notion of distancing ourselves from someone we deeply care about may instill fear, but it's a crucial move. Demonstrating a willingness to walk away sends a powerful message. It communicates that you won't settle for anything less than what you truly deserve. The right person, recognizing your value, will naturally prioritize keeping you in their life. Always bear in mind that your role is to do what's right, something well within your control. Cultivate the awareness that your actions align with moral standards, providing a sense of fulfillment. Understand that not every action may be immediately credited or acknowledged, and people may not always reciprocate the value you bring. Patience is key. Given time, your genuine efforts will draw attention and earn the recognition you deserve. Trust that by staying true to your principles, people will eventually perceive and appreciate your worth. To conclude and wrap up the rationale behind these nine steps for becoming a priority in others' lives, make an effort to absorb the following insight till the end. We've all faced moments of feeling neglected or not given the importance we desire. However, it's vital to recognize that our life journey is unique and the priorities of others may not accurately reflect our true worth. Instead of allowing such situations to dent our self-esteem, view them as opportunities for personal growth. The crux lies in prioritizing ourselves, tending to our happiness and well-being. In due course, others will start recognizing and according you the value you genuinely deserve. Remember, even if others fail to place you at the forefront of their priorities, it's crucial to grant yourself the priority you deserve. This isn't mere selfishness. It's an act of self-compassion and self-determination. Through such actions, we can cultivate healthier relationships, make decisions aligned with our goals, and lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if it resonates with you. See you soon.